How do you choose your wine? Let's have a look. Today, guys, I'll take you out for a walk. We're going to see how to show some wine. because they're filling up everything just now. to make some some comments but uh, you don't really have the time to, to talk you know uh, there's a long queue people waiting uh, wait let me maybe like this is better um, there's a long queue people uh, waiting so it's not really fair that um, you're gonna take their time to uh, to make a video so uh, I took some shots, some snaps, so I'm going to explain you a little bit later. I got a few things with me. Flowers. Flowers, very important. And uh, that's it. There's a lot of people around, anyway. Alright, I made it back from the supermarket and I brought some wine with me. But before we get into uh, uh, how you actually choose your wine, I wanted to talk about a little bit how the uh, marketing in, uh, in the shelf works. So if you notice, when you're standing in front of the shelf, uh, you have three main sections. The bottom one contains all the cheap wines, uh, uh, unsold, not very good seller, and uh, not very good selling, and this is the section we're not gonna look at today. Uh, then you have the middle section which is right in front of your eyesight and this one is, uh, is the one containing most popular wines, fairly good wines, uh, good price point for the quality and um, also most popular brands. The top section usually uh, has all those wines that are a little bit more premium, uh, pricey and uh, in case the supermarket doesn't have a dedicated section uh, for the fine wines, also has uh, possibly fine wines. Um, the middle section is good because uh, it's, uh, it's your starting point. So if you are approaching this world of the wine uh, from now, um, just avoid to, to look at the bottom section, okay? It's not gonna be a good product. Uh, but how do you know if the product you're choosing is good? So uh, you have uh, a few factors that you can consider uh, when you um, choosing what to purchase or not. Uh, one of those is this little badge here. Uh, usually uh, needs, uh, they use this badge to tell you that the wine won uh, a prize or a competition or in this case uh, the Campo Viejo is the worst most that my wine brands in 2019. At the bottom of this little badge, uh, you're also gonna find, and this is very, very important, um, the institution giving this prize. And in this case, it's the Drinks International. And this little badge is one of the key factors you can good at, uh, you can look at, okay? So if you find any wine with a golden medal, uh, a silver medal, just go for it because most likely it's gonna be good. Um, another, thing you want to look at when you uh, when purchasing wine 
is the denomination okay uh, different countries they have different denominations um, but usually is, is uh, a synonym of uh, quality okay so in this case I've choose a, a Sancerre uh, this one says here in front of the label Appellation d'origine protégée and sorry for my for my French I'm not French uh, Italians they the um, the only producers is the only country who's putting his uh, denomination quality here on the neck of the bottle and this one is the the top of the um, of the domination denomination which is the DOCG and uh, if you want to know what it means is the origine controllata e garantita so the origin of this uh, wine uh, is has been checked and guaranteed so the third thing we're looking at when choosing wine is the label more information the label contains uh, more things you you can know up actually about the wine in this case you got the producer you got the region you got the denomination and a quick description also at the bottom here I don't know if you can see it says produce the France so it says this is ma was made in France okay so all these kind of things will help you to, to choose your wine your first wine and hope you're gonna enjoy that if you do let me know here in the comments uh, last thing um, I can tell you if you are sure when you're purchasing something uh, just ask okay they uh, all the staff of the supermarket they there uh, they might guide you to choose something that suits you so you can just tell them what you're looking for what you're gonna have for um, as a meal uh, going with the wine and they might guide you Okay, let me know uh, if you're gonna buy any of these wines, uh, let me know which wine you're gonna buy and if it's gonna be good. Comment down below, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you next time. Ciao!